This section of your DVD demonstrates the standard method for installing a Koran undermount sink into a custom laminate countertop. This method is the quickest method of installation for custom built countertops and is best suited for use with matte finished laminates. Before you begin installation, inspect the sink for any damage. Check both the rim and corners of the bowls. Check the sink rim for flatness. In rare cases, additional straightening may be needed. If needed, place a wood spacer block between the bowls on the underside of the sink to provide additional straightening. Permanently fasten the block in place with hot melt glue or seam adhesive once desired straightness is achieved. Measure the depth of the rim. It should be 3 quarter inch, the same thickness as standard 3 quarter inch particle board substrate. If the rim is thicker than 3 quarter inch, use a template and top bearing router bit to trim to 3 quarters. If using 5 8 inch substrate, remember to trim the rim to 5 8 inch thickness. Mark the sink center line on the particle board. Then a second line, two to two and a half inches back from the front edge of the countertop. Place the sink onto the back of the particle board in the required position, using the registration marks to locate the sink correctly. Use a pencil to trace around the sink. Hold the pencil vertically as you trace around the sink to offset the cutout line approximately an eighth of an inch. Use a jigsaw to make the cutout. Cut on the line. When doing multiple sinks of the same design, make a template and use a router to save time. After the cutout has been made, place the sink into the hole to check for fit. A minimum gap of approximately an eighth of an inch should be visible. Remove the sink. Position the laminate on what will be the top side of the countertop. Be sure to account for your overhangs on the perimeter of the countertop. Then trace the sink hole onto the laminate. Use the sink cutout to cover the marked area on the back of the laminate. Apply the contact adhesive to the laminate. Then apply the contact adhesive to the substrate. Use dowels to position laminate over particle board substrate. Attach the laminate to the particle board. Roll the laminate with a J roller. Be careful not to roll over the sink hole and crack the laminate. Flip countertop over. Place upside down on a hard flat and level surface. Clean both the back of the laminate and the sink rim with denatured alcohol and a clean white rag. Prepare a solid surface seam adhesive cartridge. Use a color that closely matches the color of the sink. Apply one continuous bead around the rim of the sink. The bead should be applied about an eighth inch back from the inner front edge of the sink and should be a quarter to three eighths inch in thickness. Turn the sink upside down and place onto the back of the laminate in the sink cutout. Check inside for seepage all around the sink rim. Place a little weight evenly on the sink to provide pressure while adhesive cures. Around 10 pounds per bowl will be sufficient. Leave to cure for 30 or 45 minutes depending on brand of adhesive and the climate. After the adhesive has fully cured, check the height of the sink rim. Any high spots should be sanded flush with the underside of the particle board. Squeeze silicone into the gap between the sink and substrate. 
try to completely fill the gap between the sink and the substrate. Attach wood support strips with screws or glue and staples to support underside of the sink rim. Do not place strips where they may interfere with faucet placement. Turn the countertop over. Using a router, remove the laminate covering the sink. Several options are available for doing the final trimming of the laminate. You may use a standard router with a 7 to 8 degree bevel bit with tapered nylon bottom bearing. You may use a solid surface roundover bit with tapered nylon bottom bearing set at the correct height. The preferred method is a tilt based trim router with a quarter inch straight cut bit with bottom bearing. Simply adjust the angle of the base to 8 degrees. This is 2 degrees more than the angle of the sink walls which are typically 6 degrees. Sand the edge of the laminate and upper wall of the sink with a random orbital sander. Bring the edge to a matte finish, usually a 60 micron or 220 grit, though a 150 grit would also be suitable. Sand until laminate and sink are smooth and no seam can be felt. Use a file to slightly bevel and soften the edge of the laminate. Lightly buff the entire sink with a maroon Scotch-Brite pad. If faucet hole placement is known, drill holes using a one and a half inch hole saw. Place a bead of silicone around the faucet hole seal ring wall and insert into hole. Wipe up excess silicone. If faucet hole placement is not known, be sure to include these along with the installation instructions with the countertop when the top is delivered to the job site. Please note that sinks with integrated faucet decks do not require faucet hole seal rings. Your sink is now installed and ready to be delivered to the customer.